worker was found dead after sleeping in an encampment outside of a shelter in Mississauga. Is this who we are? Is this acceptable? I don't think so. A passionate plea for help from officials in Peel Region. I am urging everyone with... You know what? Nat uh, natives have been dying in my neighborhood in tents. None of you guys came out and spoke up. This is absolutely horrific. Somebody coming to Canada and there's not enough houses. It's from Africa where it's warm. And you know why he died? His heating in his tent. Shame on you suds for putting Canadians and asylum seekers and tents across Canada. And you too, Sarah Bly, fighting. Absolutely fighting and being paid by the government to fight to put people in tents. With a heart to come together, to work together, to continue to build this country that's known for embracing all people. Hill Regional Police say officers were. That's a lie because we all qualify for euthanization in my neighborhood and uh, it's a big shit show. Plus, it's already started. Responded to reports of a sudden death at an encampment outside the shelter on Dunda Street East near Dixie Road Wednesday morning. Okay. Investigators say a man in his 40s was found inside one of the tents without vital signs. We've been warning senior levels of government since July this was going to happen. That when you have, and right now we have on average... But Buddy, so have I. And I have phoned 311 and all sorts of people trying to get some fire code downtown east side so i kind of figured out, found out today we might not even have a fire code anywhere in vancouver there's a fire been going on under my window with druggies in a propane tank we've had lots of <coughs> propane tanks actually explode Between on the low end of 46 to the high end of 150, asylum claimants sleeping outside every night. Unacceptable. Officials say right now shelter capacity in Peel Region is at 300%. 68% of those requiring space are asylum seekers from various African countries. Prior to this year, that number was closer to 5%. Outside of the shelter today, dozens of tents were set up in close proximity to one another. Some people were seen sleeping on the grass. This in a country as prosperous as Canada, in a region as prosperous as the GTA um, and Peel region, it is beyond comprehension that we've allowed this to happen. And when I got the news of a fatality yesterday, my heart broke, it sunk. There have been calls over the last few months for more to be done to shelter refugees after dozens were spotted stranded outside of a shelter in Toronto waiting to be housed. Brampton. Why are you inviting people to freeze to death here? More people die in winter than summer with your climate change. So what the hell are you guys doing? Mayor Patrick Brown is calling this a humanitarian disaster and is urging the federal government to provide more funds to create a welcome center at the airport to prevent another tragic situation from occurring, especially as the cold winter months approaches. And that blood is on our hands if we don't step up and help. And knowing that municipalities legally are not allowed to run a deficit, we're calling on our partners and other levels of government, particularly the federal government, um, to, to, to help. And I insist that the government stop making speeches and start doing something practical Amen. so that the hand that I extended to others can be extended to my people also. As for the asylum seeker who lost his life. What about the native people that are dying like crazy downtown east side Vancouver on hard drugs and whatever? You know, and being murdered and uh, dying in tents and burning in tents. It's all quiet about that. The death was criminal, adding his death could have been caught. Oh, it is criminal. And Trudeau should be in jail for it. Fighting people to Canada and making them sleep in tents in, in 
a cold climate? You crazy lunatics, it is a crime. Caused by a heating source inside the tent. Investigators say a post-mortem is being conducted to determine the exact cause of death. In Mississauga, Melissa Nakavali, City News. So those can easily catch fire or explode. Explosion and fire engulfing a tent on Vancouver's downtown east side Sunday night. It happened on Main Street just before 7 p.m. And the fire chief says it spread to the building nearby. Afterwards, firefighters removed several propane tanks. So those can easily catch fire or explode uh, when that happens. Propane tanks are one of our biggest concerns. Uh, flammable flames or, or fuel as well. I saw a jerry can there that was uh, filled with gasoline. Last week, a woman was found dead after a fire in a tent on Hastings Street. But the risks that we're seeing in the downtown... Just so you know, I was at that fire. On east side, specifically Hastings Street and the areas surrounding that is untenable. Um, when people are intense, they need light, they need heat, they need other things. This is an evil, okay? These people promote this kind of fire and tents and people dying and on drugs and, and uh, oh, they like to say inside of our building is dangerous and sometimes quite often we're trapped in you know and have to get our doorway cleared so we can get out with wheelchair access our dog strollers and uh, walkers these freaks made us inhale at a senior citizen building for like two years during the pandemic fentanyl coming in and out of our door things um and so quite often they're using propane tanks um, and other sources of heat as well the executive director of the vancouver area network of drug users and advocacy group says right now there are about 700 people living in tents and there isn't anywhere for them to go part of the harm reduction model is trying that was a bullshit story nowhere to go we got vancouver it's a big place they played that card for a year and a half where are they gonna go where are they gonna go and i had to freak out you know and make some videos put it through my tv on my stereo when they were protesting and say listen lunatics get off our street vancouver's not three or four blocks long they made us suffer to figure out ways to support people where they're at and many people were like i can't be inside right oh and worse okay worse is that after the jabberu came we had a high death count in our building and we got a lot of druggies in it they made our building filthy disgusting and we had poop problems disgusting more bed bugs more cockroaches and our building's dangerous inside now because i'm not being offered safe um spaces because people don't want to be in their crap oh you know what we don't get safe spaces we're not on hard drugs we the hotels that are very hot they have bugs they have flooding issues etc it's really unfortunate because um you know it's just a, another win for you know, i i don't want to watch this fucking flake I'm sick of these crybabies that don't have to work. Taxpayers, taxpayers fund them. They make our neighborhood smell like an outdoor toilet. And right now, under my window, there's been a fire for a few hours. Look, there's a, uh, a pretty sure, yeah, propane tank right by the by the uh, fire and these people are on drugs we've had them a lot of propane tanks explode in vancouver but we don't have a fire code they're like a bomb when they explode 